But don't, it was great. Doesn't everyone have something that happens in their life? Yeah, the hoarders are the bad. worst. The hoarders are always like, well, um, and then that's when my mother passed away and I started saving things. Uh, the hoarders are the worst people. I think it's the worst mental disease anyone could have. It's selfish, disgusting, and the people that have it have no clue how fucking repulsive and obnoxious they are. They put them on this show. I disagree. I think they have a clue. Really? Yeah, but it goes into that whole me, me, me thing. It's all me, me, me. So that's why I think they do have a clue. And that's why it's even more infuriating. It, they have no regard for their family, their children, their grandchildren. Just they're disgusting fucking pigs. All these poor people. That the don't deserve the help that they get. And then when they're getting help, and I don't mean mental help. Fuck them. <laughs> they, they get help cleaning their fucking house up. Meanwhile, the people should walk in, just start grabbing shit and tossing it into a dumpster, a a including the, the hoarders themselves. Do you think they're coddled in? Ugh, the coddling that goes on. Hi. And you're, um, you're Mildred? Hi. May, may I come in? Yeah, yeah. We're seeing, um, there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, we're going to go through it. You tell me what your anxiety level is from 1 to 10 at any given moment, and we'll we'll stop working, and we'll make sure everything's okay with you. Fuck. Why fuck it? And that's what they're looking for. All the attention. Wait, who is that person you just imitated? That's the shrink that goes in. Because she has the biggest problem of all. Yeah, that I know. She would put herself through that bullshit. I hate the shrinks. The the guys that are working on this, they 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 bring in these people from you know. Wow, look at the fridge. The fridge was disgusting. Who is this bitch? Some old hag that's like, I like to cook, and she comes out with this platter, and she goes, Oh, finger food, and she cooked it in this shit kitchen with cat shit and dead cats in it, and fucking just. Uh, horrid, rotting food. Did you hate her? Oh, I hated her. I, I wanted to, I swear, burn the fucking place with her would you, have, would you have thought less of the police if they just shot her? No, I would have thought <laughs> uh, better of them for doing that. Just, who, who? just board the doors and windows up and then light it on fire. With who, her in it? With her in it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Who gives, who, who takes the shit out of the house? Family members, or they, no, they they hire some kind of crew. They hire this company called Got Junk, and they bring uh, uh, dumpsters. They bring these giant trucks with dumpsters on them, and and there's three, four, five of them that drive up. This lady's living in a garbage pile. It's a yes. garbage dump. She's but an she, asshole. She saved all her plastic water jugs and milk bottles. I started living here in 1988. Look at this. It was this. real nice. <laughs> oh. We had it fixed real nice. Did you have it fixed? Then what happened? Where's the tragedy? My name is Kelly, and I'm Robin's daughter. Enabling cunt. When I moved into the house, I was about 23. Yeah. As I remember, it was uh, wow. really neatly cooked. The piles of garbage. Garbage. It must floating. smell her I'm Bestis, and I'm Robin's father. Oh, oh wow. The whole family's Robin there. and... Uh, Kelly moved here with us in 1988. We papered and painted and did a lot of things that my wife wanted just so and so. It was a, like oh a, my God. a little jewel house. <laughs> He's a great mustache. He looks like the fucking old Miss uh, mascot. What an ass. The piles go all over Three years after the family moved into the house, Robin's mom passed, passed away, away unexpectedly. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> and then her daughter got a lesbian hairdo. Jesus. <laughs> fucking creepy. His daughter's creepy. So is the mother. She looks like Dr. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In 1991, uh, Kelly moved out, that's the daughter, leaving Robin and her dad to take care of the house. It wasn't long before it became overwhelming. My mother died. Me and my dad. Uh-oh. We tried to keep it going. Yeah, sex. It just got out of hand. <laughs> Her fucking hand. wig is awful. What's uh, that? Oh, a fly strip. Holy shit. Covered with what flies. Was it just, just kind of creeped crept up on us, and there it was. And, crept up and on you? Garbage? Yeah, how does garbage creep up on you? <laughs> what a 
dumb family. The city has stepped in with an ultimatum. Yeah. Die or be killed. <laughs> Clean up or face demolition of the home and, and a $30,000 fine. Murphy, and I'm Robin's brother. Uh, someone reported the house for the smell. Good. Good. Oh, Jeez. God. Honestly, why they waited as long as they did, I don't know. Who lives there? The you didn't smell. have to walk into the house to smell it. Oh. You could smell it before you were even on yeah, the From the outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they're in there. Living there with the garbage bags. Everybody's business. We were going to get it cleaned up little by little and take care of everything. Oh, you were. Shut up. No, you weren't. But we just didn't get it done yet. You were not, you lying we rag. The city would be more oh, nice ceiling fan. Than they were, but it's from the monsters' house. Down below zero, Dude. they still wanted us to get in that house. Dark. Get it cleaned up. It's in filth. A matter of days. Listen to these people do it. trying to rationalize. Unsafe to occupy. Wow. It's fucking like garbage. It's not just clutter. It's garbage. Yeah. Robin was forced to move into low-income apartment. Her dad ended up where? In little a, by little, it's uh, just... An adult a ho it nursing home. Good. Boobs. Started getting messy. St messy. No, it's we're, not... We're good housekeepers, I guess. We're not good housekeepers. We're not good housekeepers. They can't even... It's our house and it's none of your business. They can't realize how horrible this is. It looks like Staten Island, like the fucking yeah, West Shore Expressway. <laughs> get completely out of hand. Let the cats take over. Oh, and, uh, oh, yeah, they're all crazy cat them. people. I love when cats wreck someone's life. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. The cats are shitting and pissing <laughs> everywhere. Oh, my. Look at the washing machines covered with what cat that? shit. That's cat shit? Oh. We're litter. God. Her mom's a dope. She doesn't realize what it is. Kelly idiot. has not been inside her mother's home in over 10 years. Oh, boy. Good. She's in for a lovely surprise. Oh, uh, what a hoot. Oh. I kind of have an idea of what it is, but... No, you know. It might don't. be worse than I think it is. It's worse than it's worse than the the, the, the devil the, could think. That <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty oh, I can't wait to see I love her mother's awful that. wig. She's coming over to make some apple but pie. Yeah. <laughs> with cat shit. Cat shit. And, and, dirt. Do anything and then she's feeding the so cats. In the past. It's none of anybody's business. What we do in our shithole. Wow. Bees nests. Are they bees? Yeah. Yeah. Bees. Oh, there's, there's another teams. guy. The oh, there's so well, many they do, quarters. Oh, they go back and forth. Yeah, they, they have kind to. Of a back and it's forth wonderful. Thing. It's. Uh, I didn't realize there were so many hoarders out there. You I, know, I thought it was very. I didn't uh, either. Whatever. Yeah. Select. Didn't oh. either. It's a wonderful. Very small group of people. But They're disgusting. How many hoarders? Delusional, self-centered. They're saying people. three million hoarders in in yeah. America. Yeah. Probably not like that extreme, but they, dude, the, the, yeah, there but was to just be in the uh, title. Hoarder. That's one of the worst I've ever seen. Spider on the webs show, by the way. with the fucking, like it was absolute Duck, mold, filth, cat shit. She's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh, she is wonderful, Doc Ock. <laughs> she isn't she? <laughs> I'm gonna peel the flesh of your bones. The shape it's gotten into. Yeah, it's a little messy. That's Ooh. a horrible fucking place. Where do they sleep? After years of extreme horror, okay, right. uninhabitable. The by the city. The city. Unless it's cleaned up, it, it can't be cleaned. I couldn't believe anyone could let any property get that bad. So what are you? What are you saving there? Is this the next one? No, this is her oh. again. Yeah. What a pile of garbage. Very embarrassing. She is. It's not <laughs> embarrassing. Embarrassing. If it was embarrassing, you'd have done so. Faced with the impending demolition of her house, Robin has finally agreed to get help. Oh. Hi. Oh, Robin? yeah. Oh. See, listen. Look. Hi. I'm Dr. Hale. Hale. You must be Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, I'm humiliated. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dr. Lisa Hill, and I'm a psychologist specialized. She looks like a kook too. She has total Dr. straight Dutch boy hairdo. <laughs> I like to sit on paint cans and get fucked this? by people of darker skin. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's take a look in the house. Oh, Kelly's about to enter her mom's house for the first time in ten years. Oh, oh I can't wait to oh, see this. Goody. It's hard for me that my daughter's going to see the house like it is. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're putting on they're fucking putting on respirators. Masks. She doesn't have any idea what it's like in here. Yes, yeah, she uh, does. It's a dump. <laughs> fucking cunt. Go ahead and go on in. Oh, God, what a wreck. Oh, this newspaper taped to the door. All so right. people can't look in the window. Go, Robin. Oh, my God. It's a pile of like, fucking it, garbage. It looks like the dump. 
It looks like the she dump. can't go in. Oh, oh, she couldn't oh, come she in. She can't come in. She just looked in the front oh, door. She's, she's crying. crying. She actually, <laughs> she is collapsing. Your mom sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom sucks. Mom's a douchebag. <laughs> Your mom's a dumb, <laughs> filthy. <laughs> <laughs> she is in the garage. She couldn't walk in. She got a she look. She collapsed in the driveway. And like she, she got a look in the front door. <laughs> barely a look. Good work, mom. She's like, oh my god. Uh -huh. Your mom's broken. My mother looks like Johnny Cash and she's messy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't go in there. It's okay. I it's okay. I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. Fuck the cunt. Mama, no. What do you say? We let mom know I can't go in. And you can help her without going in. Oh, oh, here we go. Now the shrink. Here is, is supporting you. It's not supporting I'm glad you guys are both. Wow, what a great reaction. Oh, man, really, she really lost difficult. her fucking mind. She realizes what an asshole yeah, she tumbled out of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Oh. What a filthy Kelly Kelly's still upset, decides to remain outside while Dr. Hale and Robin go back inside the house. Now listen to this so shrink. What do you see, Robin, when you, when you walk in? Well, I know it's need a good cleaning. Uh, what? I, Good cleaning. I Understatement, with woman. With a dirty bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the odor was quite overwhelming. Wow. What is that? Uh, this is clearly unlivable. Un My first impression was It's the worst thing I've ever seen. I, it, it is the worst house I've ever seen Can on this show. Can you tell me a little about this room? What's, this was the, oh, yeah. the living room or main the, area? The garbage dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the seagulls come in the window. <laughs> my, my collector plates. Okay. Collector oh, plates. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> she has like six collector plates. Pause that. Pause that. She, she has <laughs> filthy spiderweb plates on the wall. And she she actually like she has real gems. Even, that is my collector. You can't even see the design on the plates. No, they're disgusting. The shit went sideways. It looks like into the plates. If that's possible. They have no idea how disgusting that the place is. They think like. Oh, well, I didn't clean up. You know, you feel people drop by and maybe you have a few things laying around. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I didn't straighten up. That's how she thinks this is. Oh, look at my collector's oh, plates. God. Does that distract you from the pile of cat shit Was it? over here in the corner? Oh, God, I didn't realize you were stopping by. Yeah. Could you give me a few oh, moments to yes. clean up my Jeez. house? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were coming. Can I have a decade right. <laughs> and a flamethrower? Yeah. <laughs> If I knew you'd have come, you were coming on a baked my house. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't know you were coming on a baked cake. Why? Oh, God. <laughs> Let's hit this. Yes. Oh, this is great. Meaning to Love her. watching TV. I right? love it, right? If you can't see. Yeah. What? Uh, it's just fresh. filth. She doesn't see the same amounts of trash and filth. And so right. I, yeah, I see some bags of, of product. Oh, what is it? It's boxes. a garbage dump. Stuff yeah. in here is still good. What? Still usable. What is usable? What's usable? Not you. When what? you have compulsive hoarding, it's very difficult to let those items go because they seem perfectly it's good. It's garbage. Their brain oh, will shit. Think of a million Dumb different therapist ways. and her fucking you know, square face. How they're going to be used. The reality, the Stupid fact garbage. that the items don't get used, again, is part of that, that brain process that's just missing those connections. And of course, ordinarily we would do kind of a whole tour through the house, yeah. but right now but we're can, can we're you pause this? Because <laughs> the me 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 thing drives me it, right. fucking insane. Yeah. whatever you know the, the reason. But, uh, but what would happen if they just start hauling this shit out of our house? What would happen to this lady they, physically? You know what? Mentally, someone explain that to me. Why? Why is she handling her with kid gloves? Because here's what happens. Even though they don't just go in and start throwing things away, they bring the crew in. Now, the crew has to meet with the fucking crazy-ass, filthy, disgusting hoarder. Right. And and they, they have to go over everything. Everything they take out, they're like, all right, do you want to go through this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I need that. Because if they just took it all out, they'd have a ridiculous fucking freak-out nervous breakdown. So? I know, that's what I say no, all the I'm time. Serious, so. No, no, I know what happens. I agree and, with you. and then the healing can start. Right. Well, that's no, why have I your can't... stupid breakdown and then start healing, exactly. you fucking bitch. That's why I can't see why they're <laughs> coddling these fucking I'm serious. I know <laughs> these, these monsters. In the end, what happens to the lady? Nothing. Right. Maybe Nothing. she starts healing.
Nothing. Enough already. It all, what does this cat turd remind you of? Right. That reminds me of the New Deal. <laughs> the New Deal. <laughs> the Louisiana Purchase. I should do a clockwork orange to her. Like, oh. Keep her eyelids oh, open. yes. And just start throwing shit into a dumpster right oh. in front of her face. I, I've said that so many times. It's like, what would happen? Just do and it. And what would just happen? Just shovel the shit out of the house. I'm a big believer in tough love. And when you do that tough love stuff, wow, it's it's, it's amazing what, She'd the, be going, what ends up happening around you. They're throwing stuff away. They're throwing it away. And then what? And then you Play go, it out. good, Play watch it. it. Out. Watch it. Then what happens? Yeah, exactly. Those are my cat turds <laughs> and spider webs <laughs> and dead animals and vomit. You know how many dead cats they're going to find underneath all this shit? Oh, I if they clean imagine. it out. Just dead fucking From suicide. Cats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little, you get all that cat gun next to his head. <laughs> Once you get all that emotion out, though. You would think. Whatever she's holding inside. I don't know what shrink psycho babble taught these people, these other shrinks, that this is the way to handle these disgusting monsters. Look, there's, these self-centered fuckheads. There's, there's a lot of good therapists out there in shrinks. But there's also a lot of them that seem, to, seem to ha have bigger problems than the people that are helping. Yeah. Yep. Right? Horrid. Let's hear a little more from this wonderful woman. Oh, she's not. <laughs> and clear before we can kind of get there, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How are you feeling about the process of getting started? How you feeling? I want to get it over with. I don't give a shit how you feel. Why I would absolutely you ask that? think that the precipitant of Robin being willing to do this undertaking right now She's not um, She's is solely uh, to be city. able to save the house or have any option. It's of a garbage the pile. Yeah, otherwise, it's, it's I, I really do think the situation would have continued indefinitely. Poor cameraman. Of course. Yeah, I know, right? I go in there in a second. Oh. I would love to see that shit. Right. Now to smell it and you're stepping on Dude, it. When I went, bugs on you. When oh. I went fly fishing and I was waiting for Bob Kelly, I wandered around the town and I went up to. Oh. Or that. Uh, oh, you guys, that's usually the music I hear in my oh, head. You want me to do that? Yeah, uh, I, uh, oh, you're fast forwarding, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I walked up to a house that absolutely had a hoarder inside. Really? Oh, yeah. You just saw, like, through the windows? Yeah, through the window uh, was just a pile all the way up to the ceiling. They're, they're I would love to go inside selfish. these places. They're selfish, disgusting people. They're coops. I, I, Oh, here she is. I love okay, them. The daughter's good. my favorite. Yeah, the daughter is great. The I daughter love how rules. She cried. She just collapsed. Imagine someone <laughs> seeing your apartment and just collapsing with grief. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, JD in New York City. Oh, uh, last week's show. Uh, Ain't watching this show. I got to start watching this. Yeah, it's, I've been. It's just. I've fantastic. been meaning to DVR this forever. And I just animals. Haven't. They couldn't get to the second floor. Is this true, Ant? Because there was ten years worth of human shit in plastic bags. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people actually keep their shit. The turlets stopped working ten years prior, so she just. Oh man, the was feet. shitting in bags. bags. Okay, and tossed it on the stairs and left them on the stairs. <laughs> And you saw oh, the toilet cute. itself, why it stopped working. It was coated in shit. It was just covered in shit until, oh, I guess I can't shit there anymore. <laughs> so you just shit in bags I almost, and leave it in the house. I, I almost knocked nauseous. out one of my toilets this morning, man. Almost. <laughs> Bad one? Oh, yeah, the flush w wasn't doing any good. <laughs> I almost had to get a stick. <laughs> oh, God. You hoard shit <laughs> no, in the, yourself. No, the second... <laughs> yeah, probably. I have a stick. It's called my girlfriend's arm. <laughs> I'm like, I clogged the bowl. Get in there and clean yeah. that turlet out. Yeah, there's 10 bucks in the bottom of the toilet. Go in there and get it. That's how you get your girl to clean the toilet. You turlet cleaner. But I always uh, drop a dollar bill in and then shit on it. So the clog, she has to reach in and get the dollar. <laughs> you ever get a clogger going? Uh... Oh my god, yeah. In a healthy toilet, though. Yeah, I have okay. a great toilet. Yeah. I toilet one best toilet in the building two weeks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to this hoarder. Yeah. From the last time I saw her. The daughter's great. It's really hard to see her like that. Oh, just yeah, fucking move it. to another state and forget uh, she ever existed. You, en you enabled it. Clean up is gonna go very exactly, hard Billie Jean King. Look at these the trucks that pull up. It's a conga boxed, line. Too. Like, she knows it needs to be done. She knows it has to be done. But she doesn't want a lot Even of other people Even the cars in the, the... What is that? The cars are full of junk. It's embarrassing. Of course it's embarrassing. What's in those cardboard boxes? Forced by the city to the cleaner of a face demolition. She's agreed to get help. Okay. It's the Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. All right, we are here for one reason. This one lump reason of shit. <laughs> they need Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. Yeah. <laughs> 
Keep watching that. You are a filthy <laughs> lump of shit. Why aren't you cleaning private piles garbage <laughs> pile? Oops. pile? Should have thought that one out, shouldn't you? <laughs> she should do one last thing in her bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I am in a house of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is 500 tons of garbage allowed in the barracks? <laughs> wow, is that a bad house? And, and, and uh, let's be the voice of reason here. This is a freak show. Yeah, they, I, they don't really care. They're helping these people at the end, but that's the only way they could get this on no. TV. Now, that's how they do it nowadays. Oh yeah, we got freak shows all over our fucking cable system under the guise of helping, and they make believe they're helping, so we get to see the freaks. Yep, because we all want to see fucking freaks. We love seeing people that are fucked up. They don't give a shit about these people, Great. and just because they bring a dumpster and, and throw some of this shit out, she's gonna go right back to doing of the same course. crap. Of course, they didn't fix her. Of course, they cleaned the house. She's still fucked up. She's gonna get m more crap. Uh, this is great because this is all the workers. Now, the shrink might actually, in her dumb fucking head, think, I'm helping. I, I'm doing this. You know that these workers that just clean up shit are looking like, you piece of shit. I mean, You're they disgusting. All say, we got to go see the crazy lady today. Yeah. That crazy oh, yeah. lady down the street. <laughs> crazy lady. We got to clean up her fucking disgusting mess. Oh, so they yeah. give them a pep talk before. They're all huddled around extreme cleaning specialist she is going to get to go through every single thing so every box comes by her she looks in there. oh no. asshole it's about control and respect she feels like she has no control she anywhere else she her. Fucking lost respect and respect. control a long time ago thank you for letting us do this i know this is really hard for you to thank learn. you for letting us see pause pause pause, pause this pause. groveling garbage this is, this is exactly what episode. she wants to hear yes yes they're treating her like a princess thank you for letting us do this Fuck you! She should be blowing these guys they, as they haul shit out of her house. They should be able to mush the cat shit in her <laughs> face before <laughs> they throw it away. She has to stand by the door, and everything they bring out, they just mush in her face, her tits, and her pussy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking some garbage inside her. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the afternoon with her, man. I'll fucking, uh, I'll fucking do more good than these me, me, enablers. Me. Thank you for letting us Thank do that. You. You're cleaning our fucking house. Do you think that guy with the mullet and the beard in the back gives a flying fuck? about thanking this woman that he's got to spend his day or two days in that shithole? Instead of her thanking them. Yeah. You give me ten minutes with her, I'll either fix her wagon or her tits <laughs> will be black and blue with my punches. <laughs> Uh, let's listen I to the her guts. rest of the pep talk and uh, uh, when they get when they get the rolling. The big deal. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we ready? And she doesn't even say anything. Right, no, no, no personality. No, she's lover. just sitting there. She should be thanking them. All right, they're walking in. The workers. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. When you walk in the house. I mean, the first thing is the smell just smacks you in the face. It's one of the worst smells I've ever smelled in all the houses I've ever been in. Wow. This is. This is all... Does she have to go through that too, Ant? Cat shit. He's, she was forced out He's of picking house. up piles oh, of cat boy. shit. This is her dining room table. This is where she ate with her family. Where? So this is three feet cat Love it. I think really it's we're It's three feet of cat, of cat shit. Years. And if you and I took a Lousy person cook. on the floor for three years, the house <laughs> would smell really bad, too. These poor it's guys. Just, it's just... They're, they're just down. taking a dump. Okay. Now this has... Bunch of mold. Can't that be washed? Can't that be washed? And the mold, it's not gonna wash Urine out. Urine and mold on clothing, and she's saying, can it be washed? She's worthless. It's got the bugs that have started. The well, bugs. it can be brushed off. Well, the, the problem is, is they started laying their eggs in the book. She wanted to save the book. The can't it be washed? Yes, for the flames. Are some bags that she <laughs> felt she had pre-sorted. <laughs> Not understanding the condition of the cats ripping open the bag. Is she a regular? And how she's much no, debris crazy. Really yeah, the therapist? Different shrinks every time. There's just, there's larva and bugs all in this bag. Ugh. Okay. Larva and bugs. And she's like, ah. These poor motherfuckers. We're already on cat number two. Well, that's a full grown cat. Oh yeah, they're finding cat um, skulls and bones. So, and then we've wow. got the fur going all the way over. Oh my Th this God. This is the level of hoarding. I mean, this is where she lived. Oh, we fucking wanted to disgusting. do everything we could to help their situation out. Oh, larva in the bags. Three feet high poop. It's three but feet they wouldn't high catch shit. You know, 
It's my life. Leave me alone. Yeah. And, and she's right. To speed yeah. up the process, Robin has reluctantly agreed to let her daughter and brother help. Aww. Reluctantly. Yeah. Reluctantly. I think that one is too. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Make it all fresh, Mom. Well, yeah. found that wind chime in there, though. A wind, a wind chime. chime. No, this is no. how yeah. crazy. Well, no. She is crazy. I mean, These yeah, people. I think so. I'm yeah. getting mad at her. You She's crazy. So, Kelly, how are you feeling? Hold that for one minute. Yeah, you give giving applause. <laughs> That's the problem. I, yeah. I'm, she's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> I'm fucking enraged. She's fucking now know sorting I, uh, through shit. And she's like, well, I, that wind I found a wind chime. What are you going to do with the wind chime? Hang it up in front of your big pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Now I know why I don't watch these shows. I it's can't watch in, this. Dude, dude. I can't even watch this as a joke. That's why I'm I'll enraged. tweet about it when I'm watching it. I'm furious. I'm fucking really fucking pissed off right now. It's horrible that this dumb old fucking bitch is sitting there while everyone's treating her with kid gloves, cleaning her fucking mess up, that's the, and she's arguing about a book full of bugs that's and larvae. That's the biggest mistake people do. I know. The kid gloves shit. They just throw it away. Uh, oh, we're going to let her go through every box that comes out of here. This is like shit. Up. This is like a birthday party to her. She loves the Everyone, attention. All her family's coming around. Yeah. Oh, they love it. She gets to b sort through everything. She should be kicked in the face, knocked out cold, and, and the house fucking raised. Just level it. Can you imagine if that was the show? That would be great. We're going to kick her in the face until she's unconscious <laughs> and then level her home. <laughs> that would roll. We'll be right back. Who's not Who's not sticking around? I know they have to draw straws to see who's the lucky guy that gets to put the big metal boot on <laughs> and fucking kick her That's fucking like spinning back kick with a Doc Martin <laughs> right I, to her gums. I, I can host that show easily. Oh, Good kick. Easily. She doesn't know Maybe she... not the kicking part. Oh, come on. I love the kicking part. You give part. her a guitar, she starts to sing Ring of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see this lady. She's a Johnny Cash-looking bitch. <laughs> She's like a cross between Johnny uh, Cash Roy and Roy Orbison. Orbison. Yeah, yeah. I Orbison, Roy Orbison. Yes. Roy Orbison. Or Roy Orbison. Yes. Oh, God. Instead of the man in black, she's the old cunt in garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you got a douchebag on instant feedback. Sorry, Opie, not everyone is perfect like you. Uh, I've, yeah. I've made it this goes way beyond perfection. I've made, it, I've made it perfectly clear over the years how damaged I am, oh. asshole. But who hole. says sorry? So and I got a me, me, me in my life. So sorry I'm not just sitting here going, oh, the poor fucking woman. Because <laughs> Fuck I, I understand how a me, me, me person in your life fucking fucks up Fuck everyone's her. life. So go fuck yourself. Bad! Oh. Everything I want is garbage. <laughs> She's a wreck. Oh, I keep everything, man. I keep <laughs> My house should be in the ring of fire. <laughs> I mean, if you're out there and you got a me, me, me in your life and you handle them with kid gloves, it works for you. God bless you. I don't see it working out that way. No fucking way. Because it affects everybody around you. Everybody. Everybody. You saw the daughter's reaction. She collapsed. Right. And this greedy, selfish thank pig you, Anthony, is thank fucking uh, uh, treating her family like that. Ugh, what a I'm wreck! To talk about it more openly. I'm not sure. See, see if we dumped that, we wouldn't have found that. Oh, found what? A, a fucking garden uterus. Tool. Uh oh, she reaches. A, oh, the daughter reaches a breaking point. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help her. Okay, she won't throw shit away. Box with a bunch of crap. In it. Well, we put stuff away, and I don't care. It's full of crap. There you go. That's good. Way better. Right. Way better. Yeah. Bravo. I'm cut that bag open. Should have done that 15 years ago. It's been zippered up. Me, I'm saying. Exactly. I'm gonna yeah. cut that bag open. It's Clip been the daughter. She's up. disgusted. Yeah. Good. That's you what should you need be. To do. You fucking maybe, lunatic. Maybe your mom will wake the fuck you up. You argue and reason with a brain disorder. I just told her I felt. Okay, but I, I told her she was breaking my heart. Okay. Told her she's breaking my heart. before. She didn't listen. Good. And look, she's she just. She didn't want me digging in that box. It was real bad. Selfish. She's just. It made me feel bad, but. But. There's some good things in the bottom. We no, want there to... isn't. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> so we're I all know this now. Woman. Yeah, the box is covered with roach eggs. Roach eggs. Roach eggs. 
It's covered And she's looking in it. Roach eggs. But There's by the some way, good stuff in there. There's some good stuff. That's why I don't want to hear brain disorder. It's I'm I'm gonna do what I want. It's a she's a selfish right. cunt. Don't and fucking give her an excuse that it's this brain disorder or something. She's just a filthy, disgusting, selfish bitch. Why don't again? This is what bothers me. In mental illness, you have to deal with it because people are genuinely beyond help sometimes. But the self-centeredness that does exist is never addressed as ugly self-centeredness. And it yeah. makes me crazy. Yeah. Makes you crazy. Makes everybody that, crazy. That's why, we're, that's why, like Hopi said, we're all now yelling. Uh, uh, yeah. I can't watch this show. I just yelling. scream. Well, now I know why I can't watch this show. It, it hits too close to home. Man. It's great. And I think some just... of these people are very aware of what they're doing to you're right. people yes. around them. The daughter reacted the way she should. Right. I can't take this fucking shit. Ruck loads. I think of it's garbage. kind of a high for the person when they realize oh, what it's yeah. doing to the people around them. They love oh, it. Oh, I got their attention again. Oh, more of that will get their attention. Right, right. It's all, literally, she's looking through a box with roach eggs on it. Roach and eggs. Covered and, in roach eggs. And, and, and arguing with the daughter that there's good stuff in there. No, there's not good stuff. There's not good. Throw everything in the house away. Your life Everything's has, contaminated. I, the, the woman has to realize your life has amounted to garbage trucks full of <laughs> shit. <laughs> piles, piles of shit. And do you think anything in that house, if you could smell the house from outside the house, that anything is salvageable? It's all just permeated with cat piss and roach eggs. Dude, it's fucking... And you know, I would respect this woman if she's like, look, I'm a little nuts. This <laughs> is a disaster. Yeah. There might be one or two salvageable things, but this is garbage. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it all. I'll start over. A dumb therapist in her boxy face. Oh. And letting her go through the fucking bags. No, they should have the health department there smacking her around. Go, no, you can't touch that. I love how that's our answer. Like the health department is gonna smack her around, <laughs> like they're fucking, like they're Mr. Gazzo in the first send, Rocky. Send out the, the smack detail. <laughs> they just smack people around. We don't have very practical. Ex help. We're not practical people. What should they do? Kick her in the fucking head and burn her house. <laughs> but that's no one's gonna go for that. But it would be great. And the rest of the family can move on with their yes. lives. Yes, they're not fucking burdened <laughs> with this fucking piece of shit. You got one damaged person in your family. You don't need don't seven. Need, yeah, yeah. Oh, the daughter can't take the it. The mother's fucked up her <laughs> whole family. Fucked it up. Roach eggs. Covered in yeah. roach eggs. Uh, let's hear what happens with uh, the rest Before of the Before you turn it back in and the old lady's getting her pussy eaten on a <laughs> pile of garbage <laughs> by <laughs> three <laughs> young studs. Cat shit. By a cat. From the, from the fucking guys that are cleaning up. Yeah. They're just dogging her in the ass. Like dildos. <laughs> she's got a piece of cat shit in each ear and she's making space, <laughs> space monster noises. And they're like, well, she is a little crazy. <laughs> She's pretending to be a space monster on Garbage Mountain. <laughs> Daughter walks in and just sees her blowing the fucking servicemen. Yeah. The guy who thanked her is, <laughs> is fucking coming in her fucking her wig while she sings Ugly Woman. <laughs> like Roy Orbison gets. <laughs> Ugly Woman. Ugly Woman. Your house smells down the street. <laughs> Ugly Woman. Your house, it smells like feet. <laughs> it smells like spoiled meat. <laughs> I want to beat you with a rock. <laughs> now would you please suck my cock? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, All right. God. It's just uh, getting childish now. Yes, of course it is. Uh, yeah, let's it's get okay. a little. I can't do it. It's okay. What? It's fine. It's not. She lived part of her time in this house when she was going to college here. Oh, the daughter, yeah. And to see it in the condition it is, it's got to be hard on her. Hard on. We grew up, our, our home was neat and clean. It was well taken care of. Yeah. The whole family was well taken care of. Do you think the daughter said she looks like Stephen Hawking? <laughs> <laughs> Ugly I bitch. Like <laughs> Stephen Hawking could clean up the house I better. <laughs> One finger moving at a time. <laughs> How happy are the neighbors right now? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'd have a video Why camera. Why don't they show out. the neighbors? They yeah. gotta be jumping for joy right now. Yeah. They have to be. Matt and Screw Dive Giver. There are more shocking discoveries. Oh, shit. Pause right there. Pretty funny. One of the shocking... It was like a, a, a fucking a Honus Wagner card in perfect condition. 
point. So the old lady had a point. It's an action comics number one. <laughs> all, all those boxes are full of Kruger ends. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and mint condition comics. And things that are worth a fortune. Mickey Mantle rookie card, but it has cat duty on it. It's worth $1.30. <laughs> it's a Bay of Ruth ball worth 17 cents. It's a cat cadaver on it. That fucking rules. Yeah, I'm seeing a, uh, what was that, cat paw? Looks like it. Oh, yeah, no. another, more dead cats, I think they're finding. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a pterodactyl. <laughs> Small bully mammoth under her garbage. <laughs> you saying it's been there a while? <laughs> yeah, a long <laughs> time. A long time. <laughs> Monday off. If they're stuck, oh, they get in full mullification. But oh. when they're out in the open, they actually start to cannibalize each other and they eat each other. Oh, good. The cats are eating each other. Okay. Still, oh my. You still have sympathy for this lady. Cats. Yeah, Big John. With, with cat hoarding. I mean, it's really sad. Oh God, a mummified. This cat. is a great event where they just it spiraled out of control and it literally. She loved her cats to death. No, she didn't love them. She's just throwing cat away graveyard. cat bones. I'm getting the rest of this cat. Obviously died here. He's been picked around by other cats. Oh, that's good. I've got a box of stuff to, to give it to Robin. She's bones. really interested in giving her cats a proper burial. She does care about these She's cats. She's got to If you get... look at this, the She did it in her house. In, it sure doesn't feel like it. But this is actually... Proof that she loves her cats because she Get the, what? has let her life go to such shambles to no, take care of no, these cats. No, you're not lying. Cats dead and being an an asshole. Asshole. by other cats. This is one of your cats. Now, yeah. I know you've expressed interest in giving them a proper burial. We know you love your cats a lot. Poor little feller. We're part of the family. Why is it wow. so important for you to give love them a proper burial? Do well, I, don't want to, hate. I don't want to put it in a dumpster. Okay. Do you feel any better being able to know? Okay. Now you can do something. Yeah, with I feel it. a lot better. Okay. Do you? Okay. Oh, good. You feel Marian, better. Him Marian. or her in the backyard. Okay. Give me who it is. Yeah. That's love. As the sorting continues, Robin's anxiety level rises. Oh, of course yeah. it does. Oh. I need to donate the umbrellas. I want them. She wants the umbrellas. Uh, I have a little bit of concern again about the speed of the clean right now. Our pace has got to increase by about seventy-five percent. Well, we're trying. Okay. Uh, no, you're not. Yeah, yeah, but it's to keep. It's the we are trying to do Look it at in, that in a way that we book. would do in a more Looks like the Necromonicon. <laughs> Throw it away. Item by item. What's in there? And she's looking at every bag and making decisions, looking in every pocket. Just sneak behind her back and throw out truckloads. Yes. I hope speed and trust and momentum goes up. So I, I don't mean to be pushing and prodding, no, but this, this is all she's we've got. Frustrated. I'll push and prod. Yeah. Even the enablers getting frustrated. I'd love to see the shrink just fall off and belt oh, her. Oh, God. Just belt her. Give everything away, yes. What? Hey, and again, Robin, I'm not telling you to give stuff away. We just don't have any way to get through your stuff with the time we have allotted. Yeah. And I want you to start thinking about what you're able to use, because I don't want you to be in the same position that you're in right now. Damn. Oh, this old bitch is worthless. Oh, oh she's getting mad. She's annoyed. Oh, no, she's mad. Aww. Oh, you got mad. The cleanup process comes to an abrupt halt as Matt runs into a hazardous situation. Hazardous. His this foot gets stuck in Robin's we cunt. <laughs> we wouldn't find. Oh, shit. What is it? What is it? Midday today, Feces. I was told there were some trash bags that could go. And in typical hoarding style, it turns out there was more to those bags than, than we thought. Oh. When I confronted her, it was it's definitely that was her bathroom. That was reported to her. Yeah, that's this bags is, of this shit. This is a shit lady. Not everybody's business what happened. It oh, just shit. got out of hand for us. We couldn't keep up on it. No, out of hand. Her and the father? He didn't vacuum. Find us in a lot of hoarding when the water shuts down. Water. They don't know where to go. So this is poop. This is all human feces. It's a huge pile of white garbage bags. Oh, God. You make the choice in your life to take a crap in a bag and throw it in the corner. It is hard one time. This person has completely given up at one point in their life. I mean, this is... Wow. Shove her awful. face in it like a dog and go, no, <laughs> no, bad, wow. No. Because if you Smack her nose on them, they break open. I mean, oh. it's it's 10 years of adult feces. Oh, 10 uh, years. God. 10 years of doo-doo. Who else has a hard on? Four hours before tonight to, to dispose of that feces properly. It's a long, not fun night. Oh, my God. 10 years of shit. It's my career. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. He's on the unemployment line <laughs> listening to this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my they God. found my resume in this lady's house. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Come on. See, gone but not forgotten. Oh my God. That's what we're That's talking right. about. Oh my it's God. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll take that. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Can you believe that they fucking was shitting in plastic? That must have looked great. That red-headed fucking freak just squatting over a garbage bag, shitting her brains out. She is completely nuts. And now she's a kook. Not thinking twice about shitting in a bag. What is this piece of crap she wants to save? That's her Look son. <laughs> <laughs> but, wait, but wasn't the father living with her? Yeah. 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 So he he's sh he was shitting in the bags too. I smell cat urine now. Do you? Yeah. Is it just like psychosomatic? Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. There's no cats in here. It would have to be. No. I smell something. I don't have a cat. How else could it be here? All right. Hit it. Well, Pennies came out of here a while ago. Huh? Pennies came out of here. Pennies? We've wow. got a lot of work to do. We've got to finish the downstairs, go oh. through all of the grandfather's stuff, and then we've got to get upstairs. They're sawzalling holes the in the wall. Roaches oh, all over the place. God. The pressure is on. He as much done as possible. Yes, Before what? Ticking away. The Book of Revelation comes true. Oh, the city inspectors do it at the end of the day to oh, assess the forget house. Get it. <laughs> Tear it down. Yeah, really. so, this is your dad's room. Yeah. Put her in a home. We've got a couple things we know we need to save. Bathroom. Maybe there's some furniture over here. No. No. We obviously need to get a lot of trash out of here. You first. can't right. save furniture. Um, a lot of that is just empty. Empty boxes. Out, out yeah. Do you think there's a lot of roaches in that house? Oh, yeah, the, literally, the, the bath, the bedroom. I mean, it is I'll just you cannot walk. Back. It's just yeah. they're, they're walking through garb. What a weird Distraction. way to live. It, it's just, even though Robin is aware of the time crunch, going through her beautician supplies completely slows down the sorting <laughs> process. <laughs> the shotgun with no, a mirror on it. <laughs> what beautician supplies? You guys are giving us to put in the trash. Robin, again, once we've gone through the boxes, we want to keep moving and not not keep taking stuff out of them, okay? Hi, guys. It's, all, uh, it's pretty let's bad. Let's stop for a second, guys. Robin, Robin I'm going to get your attention please. over here. Oh. Do you want to keep that stuff or do you want to keep the house? We want to keep the house, but we want some of that, too. To keep the house. No, you one of the other dummies. Yep. you got well, two crates of this no. already. We don't need any more. Here, I'd rather keep the house. we need it. Oh, Why do we need it? Just a... I mean, you can live on the street with a box before we can try to keep the house. Uh, That's what we're getting. Again, to. enough with her. You yeah. said you would ties wouldn't get grouchy. Well, I don't want to get grouchy. Oh that, my God! Say, and now everyone's got to like coddle her again. Grouchy. Right, doing it, so let's get going. They're keep pause this, you They're fucking crazy cunt. They're cleaning up ten years of your shit. They're trying your, to save your, your house. Shit. Your literal shit. And they're just trying to save your house for you. And she's complaining that they said they wouldn't get grouchy. Well, I don't know. A staircase filled with shit would make you a little grouchy. Yeah, you know, that kind of, I wasn't expecting that when I came to work <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Today. I'm sorry you know, I'm a little grouchy. Ten years of your shit in right. fucking decomposing <laughs> plastic bags. Call me silly. Sorry. No, no. As I was trying to get rid of your shit that's in bags, the bag's broken. I got some of your shit on me. Oh. Sorry I'm a little grouchy. Her problem is nobody grabs her by the shirt collar and just shakes her repeatedly. Oh, just <laughs> shit would fall out of everywhere. Out of her pockets. <laughs> oh, what a fucking... Her beautician supplies. What, what are they? Oh, please. Who's going to her for... Be Imagine going there for, to have your fucking hair did. <laughs> I have my makeup her done. knees. Yes. Just spreads cat shit on your face. <laughs> yeah, and roach eggs in your ears like earrings. <laughs> we gotta get... You can wear these, they'll hatch. We gotta get to the end of this, but we I gotta know, keep going. Fantastic. She's putting stuff in her pockets. Oh, Robin like, is killable. It's like Hoarders Mystery Science Theater. Is this the <laughs> was the best Hoarders of all time? Uh, dude, or the, I am or did it get worse this. than it's this? One of, no, I've no. seen worse. I'm worse than this. how do you get worse than one another guy with buckets of shit? But she had bags of shit. She had yeah. bags of shit all the way up the staircase where you couldn't get up to the second floor anymore. I'm dubbing this. Has to be the worst the Hoarders episode yeah. ever because she's disgusting and she's got no fucking where remorse they sleep? or anything. They just usually they they have a cushion on the floor or in the middle of the garbage and they just curl up you on it roaches like a crawl on her? fucking I, animal. I'd imagine uh, uh, laying down in the shit pile could be comfortable. The that smell might be, be a little bad. Yeah, a little soft. Smells bad, let's be honest. Fresh but, shit, not But you gotta shit. think that it might be, uh, be kind of uh, comfortable. Yeah, oh, the yeah. bugs these guys have to deal with. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do they, they got go bed home? Bugs? <laughs> How do they fucking go home? I would, they'd have to go somewhere to be sterilized. These poor fucking guys. Uh, it's really going to say you aren't going to get grouchy. grouchy. That's why you hate her. Thank you. Yes. Going through her fucking beautician, slowing everything up. And he's just saying, throw it out and you want, bully her. Yeah, you, you want know the how box this on the street? Or, no, I don't. Okay. I haven't seen this one. All right, I want to know how this ends.
Oh, God. It's the clothes are... Everything is falling apart. I think the ammonia in the cat piss is just... Decompose everything. After the stairs from the second floor have been cleared, Matt makes a disturbing discovery. Oh, How many disturbing discoveries? We've got cracks in the walls over there. We've got holes going oh. all the way through the steps. You can look down all the way through oh, the steps to the sunlight. You know, there's rooms back here that he's sitting on has been in in 20 years. I can see it. It looks like a rat's nest, <gasps> but I'm not even sure what it is. Oh, it's so unsafe up here. It's a rat. It's just, it's, it's and they were living in this house. Yeah, yeah I was going to rent that room. Unbelievable. This is a beyond fiction. It looks like a huge rat's nest. Yes. Now we're seeing what it does to a house. It rat's tears nest. it apart, literally. I mean, these, the foundation is ruined. This house is ruined. They Good. have to knock this fucking place Yay! down. Yay! I we're hope she watches. Is it's just not safe. It's not safe at all. So unfortunately, we're going to have to stop. Yay! It's just yep. not safe at all to bring any of the guys in here. So we want to help you downstairs still, but unfortunately, we're going to have to just stop cleaning up there. That was really bad news because there are a few more things that mom wanted to save. What? A lot of lost memories in there. Yeah. Save. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe she shouldn't have let a rat's nest take over. Yeah. Hey, mom should have got a broom. City inspector arrives. Oh god. And he, he slows the car down and sticks his middle finger up <laughs> and keeps going. <laughs> oh, Do you god. really need to take yeah. notes? <laughs> I'm not sure if their expectations are still hopeful that they can move in. Ah. Um, and I, I'm just not sure what. That oh, the woman's that still hoping. It might be very difficult for the family to. Bye bye, bye bye. The neighbors are going to have a parade wow. down the street when the bulldozer I just comes in. Let you know what we found and, and what yeah, our plans are. The inspector. Uh -oh. uh, to I love deal him. with the, the situation. We found a few cracks in the ceilings. We found a hole in uh, one of the rooms in, in the ceiling. The plumbing. And electrical all need attention, need to be uh, looked at to make sure it's in working condition. Furnace and the ductwork also needs to be checked out, made sure it's safe. Dead cats. The one thing that got my attention was they didn't say that it's too bad it has to come down. I kind of half expected that. Oh, uh, please. What we plan on doing is look at this, talk about it, see what we can do. Should have some for you within a week or two. Oh, they're so knocking that fucking place down. I've been down. worrying about it quite a while now. Become selfish. So it was good news today. Good news. The I know he's he saying the family can live here. What they're saying is you have some time and some options to continue to make the changes that they made this week. <laughs> it's... I think it might cost too much to fix it to be able to keep it and uh, we'll just see what happens. Even right now, even with like stuff cleaned out, it's right horrible. Yeah. We want to save it, but we do. We want to keep it. Why? Of course, you want to. Keep Why? It. Just like she wants to keep that. fucking everything. Is there any more on her? Right. We could get the epilogue. And she have go, to. And she'll go right back to hoarding, right? Yeah, she oh, might. Oh yes. Kind of like all. Oh yeah. He's not. God gonna... damn. How do they not? Can maybe they're gonna knock the place down? They just didn't want to do it in front of the cameras. Yeah, I guess I they wanted know. to keep it kind of positive or something. No, no. Is that how it be, ends? Is that the end? That's how it ends. Can't man. be the end. I think that's it. But they don't show what happened with her. Yeah, what the fuck? You got to go back. You're yeah, missing something. There's got to be a recap. Yeah, come on, Sam. Recap, but, uh, Stop ruining epilogue. everything. They usually like put up some fucking graphic yeah. and say what yeah. uh, what happened. Hopefully she died. <laughs> I hope so too. In a, a really easily avoidable accident. <laughs> She slipped on her own fucking ten-year-old feces. Yeah, fell down the stairs. She made a zip gun out of zip gun out of cat shit, and the police <laughs> killed her. <laughs> ah, fuck. All right, that's the other guy. God damn, these people are fucking kooks. I guess they didn't want to give the bad news in front of her. They, it's obvious they got to get rid of uh, the house. Now. What does this say? That's I will talk with the city attorney, and I will probably dismiss. That's, this is the other guy. That's another guy that All right. wasn't as bad. Other guy. He was bad too, Oof. though. He was oh, bad. Oh yeah, yeah. He was bad, but but I mean that lady. That lady. I am skeeved out just watching that. It completely skeeved me out. Yeah, she was just terrible. Grouchy. What a lousy fuck she must be. Oh. oh yeah, drop. All right. That's the other guy, Ken. And then. Uh, Naomi. Naomi is, Naomi. I guess, uh, Ken's uh, chick there. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Robin uh, stated that she has no interest in using aftercare. What? Go Wait, back, go back, go back. Right, hold on, hold on. Let's see what that says. I think she... 
Just pause it when it goes on the screen. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Robin has stated that she has no interest in using aftercare funds for therapy. Yeah, of course not. She doesn't want to use funds for therapy. No. Fucking cunt. And then... Why am I so mad at her? Hit it. Since the family does not have the 75000 estimated for repairs, the city will have no choice but to demolish the home and bill Robin nearly <laughs> ten grand. <laughs> <laughs> Ten grand to knock your house down. So you happy. Cunt. <laughs> the fact that she didn't want to go to therapy, I just I hate her guts. Good. Hate her. And Good. The therapy was for free, obviously. Was that was that it? I have no it. interest. I have no Self interest. Fucking rotten bag. Yeah, she goes. That is great. Wow. She had she lost the house. It's gonna cost her ten thousand dollars. Hopefully she's out on the street with that one box that the guy said you could be on the street with that box or, the, or have the house. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. So yeah, I love that show. <laughs> it's enraging. It's fucking. That was good though. It is enraging. That was some good TV right that there. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. There, there are shows that are on that you just it, 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 they're infuriating and I can't stop watching them. That inter intervention is another one, and um, there's the other one, uh, hoarding buried alive, which is another ripoff of hoarders, but not as good as hoarders. Well, this lady was heading toward the second floor collapsing on her. Yes, that would have been. <laughs> they great. had cracks from. Oh, how great! <laughs> they what didn't else? explain because you didn't, you know, you didn't see it out there, obviously. But the second floor had so much stuff; it had to be weighing down. Yep. The support beams yeah. or, or whatever. There was cracks and Oh, holes. that would be great if she was just laying there downstairs and the whole second floor full of her <laughs> own shit, cat shit, bones, dead animals just came tumbling down on her. Buried alive. Uh, and people worked out. Buried alive. Sorry, people did okay. bury themselves alive in, in hoard, hoarding. Oh, yeah, yeah. In whores, too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, oh, your own garbage. And everyone has. Uh, my sister is a hoarder. Try to help. You can't. Oh wow! Uh, animal hoarders. Isn't that what? This is why I hate her, though. She had no interest in going to therapy. No, no. Why would I? I'm fine. I think we should actually. It, it, unfortunately, it smelled, but they should just be left alone and drop dead. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Well, the neighbor, the fucking neighbors have to deal with that shit. Fucking walking past their house, no matter how nice you keep your house, you gotta have fucking shit house yeah. next to you. Piggy McShit cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy McCat shit cunt lives next to you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking roach eggs. You could actually what? probably buy a car for real cheap, get insurance if you're the neighbor, and drive it right into the fucking house. Mm -hmm. Just drive it right into the corner of the house and go, hey, I don't know what happened. And then. Uh, you, the house gets knocked down. Another fix it. terrible solution. <laughs> Get a car and drive it into the house. Just drive it into the house. At least the show had a happy ending. Which it is certainly did. They all like happy endings. Oh, f thank God it worked out. That's not like even, shit not for even her. going for a joke. Nope. Happy ending. Totally. Her cat fucking... attacking her would have been a happy ending. <laughs> the whole neighborhood's a lot happier. The house is gone, which means those people are gone. Yep. And there'll be a nice new house there. Oh, oh my God! And you know the conversations they'll have with the people that bought the property and built another house on it. Oh, thank God for you! They're going to be like, there's going to be a line of people with cakes and housewarming gifts. Welcome to the neighborhood. We love you. <laughs> it would be great if they hand them a cake and they just throw it on the floor. We'll have it later. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the roaches that live there now? And they knock the house down. What happens to the roaches? They go to everyone else's houses in oh, the neighborhood. So the maybe it's not a happy and, ending. The they rats should find burn other it down, houses, but yeah. A rat's nest. You ever see a rat's nest? Yes. They're oh. huge. Oh, oh yeah. Huge m uh, mounds. She probably thought it was cats up there <laughs> rifling around. Do you up think there. that was a big fucking rat's nest up That's there? That's what they were saying. Ugh. You couldn't Roaches. get a good peek at it because the door they couldn't get the door completely open. They would have to do something like remove the the, the soil, bring in new dirt, like just to to because the, the dirt dirt's had to have been contaminated with just ammonia and. Shit from the 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 animals, Ooh, all the mold. Can we get her on the phone? Oh God, I'd love to fucking make fun of her. Yeah, let's talk like she's a. Uh... Oh, I'd love to help. Let's go, ha ha. Can we help her. Love can to. we find her? Yeah, can we help her? Ah, uh, you know, I uh, she's hoarding. I don't, I don't need to be helped. I'm fine. Got out of hand. Out of hand. It's a little cluttered in here. Cluttered. 
Is that what you call 10 years of your own shit? <laughs> 10 years of our own shit on the stairway. Why are you yelling? I'm, I'm furious. <laughs> it is enraging. Uh, I, I, oh, <laughs> fucking nutbag. I'm reminded why I don't watch the show. I can't watch that. Every like, week. all I could think of is the first <laughs> time today, she took I a can't dump. Watch that shit. The first time she took a dump in a bag <laughs> right. where she realized, well, the toilet's broke. I got a shit. Your, Where's a bag? Now want, let me tie it up and throw it. But then didn't take it out to the curb. No, no. So now where are we going to put this? I got I got a call to make it. And then threw it up on the steps. <laughs> Just throw it on the stairs. I'll take it out later. I got to save this. This is my shit. I want to save it. Why don't they ask her questions like that? Because they coddle. But that would be a great question. Why did you save your shit? Why did you save you, your you shit? You could take it out to the curb. Yeah, what are you going to do it with it, madam? Well, I thought I could make a... A clay out of it and make some more plates for my wall. Her, her decorative plates. Her fucking plate collection blew. <laughs> I hated her plate collection. Oh. oh, I'd like to take them off and just smash them one at a time over her head. <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be? Would plate collection meet hollow pointed bullet collection? <laughs> meet rock collection. <laughs> rock collection. <laughs> Or just break her spider webby plates over her head. That is the best way. Oh, she'd be so upset. <laughs> yeah. One at a time, just standing there over that dumb bozo red hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, these phones. Chris in Chicago, uh, related to a hoarder, had to burn the house down. That's great. Why don't we do a quick, uh, a quick yeah. run here? Because yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you're on, if you're on hold, try to make it quick, because uh, we got to move on to other shit <laughs> uh, in bags. Chris in Chicago, what's up? Hey. Hey, man. Yeah, my... Uh, my dad's uh, ex-wife's mother-in-law, or mother, was uh, a hoarder. This was back, like, in the late 60s, early 70s. And yeah. they got so bad that her husband moved out, was living in his office because he couldn't stand to be there. And then um, they found a, a big nest of wasps living in one of the rooms, and they just condemned the place. A wasp nest? Wasp nest. Yeah. It was, uh, they deemed it too unsafe to even try to tear down. And the fire marshals just burned it down. <laughs> burned it down. Just burned it with everything burned inside? Down. They tried to everything burn it down. It. Yes. <laughs> Actually stole two pieces of cat duty <laughs> and tried to burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> At Robin's that house. And when Robin tried to keep her collectible plates, <laughs> she had to be corrected. <laughs> Those plates bug me. <laughs> that they were even hanging on the wall. What are you trying to spruce the place up? <laughs> Except the lady in the tub was hotter than Robin. And that fucking... At least there was just bodies and ghosts there. There was no duty. Yeah. You don't think the, the collectibles were worth anything? Uh, terrible. <laughs> no. Her dumb plates. <laughs> and her wind chime. <laughs> oh, her one wind chime. You uh, killed your wife and daughter and then you threw your own duty on the steps for 10 years. <laughs> Where is she now? That's what I want to know. Oh, Where is she? Sorry, I seem to have gotten some <laughs> cat shit on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the type of man who likes to know who's piling up his own shit, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the cat shit and dead body soiree. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we were moving into our shining. Uh, of course. I'm going to go get some coffee. Hair of the cat that died <laughs> under the garbage, Lloyd. <laughs> Kevin from Connecticut writes, that wasn't a wind chime, it was a cat skeleton. <laughs> Just hang up a cat skeleton to jingle in the wind. <laughs> Might as well. John in Jersey. John. Hello, boys. Hey, John. So my asshole grandfather died in 93. <laughs> When we cleaned out his house, he basically hadn't thrown anything out since 1955. Wow, that's 38 oh, God years. Damn. Was right. there anything good in there? Disgusting. Uh, you know what? He had a stamp collection that my parents were able to recover. Um, they were told that it had been in good condition. Good, not even mint. Good condition. Could have been worth upwards of $300,000. They got about ten grand for it. Oh, boy. He had cash. He got about $10,000 worth of cash, but he had them in like an envelope for the day. If he had a dollar fifty in his in his pants to start the day, he put that dollar fifty in an envelope, forget about it, and stack a pile of papers on top of it. We found about ten thousand dollars in cash. One envelope that had the most was about twenty dollars. <laughs> That's, That's a lot a, of envelopes. Took a long time, Jesus. I guess. What an ass he was. Uh, I don't get it. What's that based on? 
I don't know. There's, there's it's some human instinct to, to Man, hoard you, and to collect yeah. and to. It's some fucking wiring, instinct wiring just gone fucking yeah. crazy. We got a lady died in her house. Everything fell on her. Yeah, we know that story. Costume <laughs> oh, fighter for three months. Oh, ain't that a shame? Uh, let's say hi to Tyler. Oh. Tyler. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, hey brother. Hey, the worst one I ever seen was this lady was sitting on some ratty old chair. They they made her start cleaning up shit that was of value. She was scooping loose cat litter off the chair and putting it into bags. Yeah, yeah. All the cat litter, like the cats would get it on their paws and walk around, and she's sweeping it into a bag because she's going to reuse it. For what? Yeah, dunce. <laughs> for in the cat box, I guess. For her dead cats. You dunce. Oh, God. We got books with love in them. <laughs> we got cat shit. And we got 800 pounds of human shit. <laughs> and 20 legs of cats. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you like maggots and shit, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dean and Maine. <laughs> Dean, what's up? Uh, hey, Dean, Dean. Let's go. What do you got, Speed man? Round. Saw a show where the toilet <laughs> overflowed and they took the shitty water and put it in the tub. Oh God! Oh my God! That's a good one. This guy goes. Uh, I don't have time. Ah, fuck it. Uh, real fast, Kevin. Kevin in North Carolina. Go ahead. Hello. Hey, boys. Hey, I was, uh, just want to chime in to let you know uh, the one thing about that show that is so wonderful is me and my wife watch it, and whenever we get done watching it, the first thing she wants to do is go and throw everything that she's got away. Yeah, yeah it's it makes inspiring. It, it makes you tidy up your house a little bit, doesn't yeah. it, after the show? Oh, yeah. Everybody's just a little kept bit. shit that like, you look at and go, I should just throw this away. We've all kept stuff. And that that instinct that you have, that feeling that you have, like, I throw the, you know what? I'll just keep it. That probably gets multiplied a million times by 10,000. And you just yeah. don't throw it away. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Like you can't look at anything and throw it out. I have stuff like a lot of career stuff and work stuff that like I save, but it's not dirty. It's clean yeah, and yeah. It's the, put away nicely. There's and... a difference between, and I've noticed watching the show, there's different types of hoarders. There are hoarders that are almost organized in their hoarding where. It's stacked up, and there's little pathways cut through for them to walk in. And then there's people like her, which is just human shit. That was a garbage and dump. It was a dump inside her house. It's as if the neighborhood was just taking their garbage and throwing it in yeah, her front door. It looked like a garbage monster. <laughs> yeah, a garbage monster in her front. It was a mountain of garbage. I hoard blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> just save them in my underpants. <laughs> Let's say I had a pirate trucker from Texas. Yeah. Pirate trucker. Morning, boys. Love you. Love the show. Of course. Of course. Um, I was going to talk about my sister, but this brings back memories of my divorce attorney. I went over to his house, and it's just stacked with papers. And I kept asking him, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. And he's like, well, you know, it's, yeah. And he kept putting it off. I'm like, no, I got to go to the bathroom. And he's like, all right, it's upstairs. So I go upstairs, go into the bathroom. I'm taking a leak. And I just happened to glance over my shoulder, and his tub was full of something. I swear to God, I thought it was his dead mother. It was just full of goo and crap, and I'm standing there gagging, trying to pee. <laughs> I come downstairs, and I'm like, and he's got this look on his face like, oh. Now I oh, have yeah, to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> now you'll end up in the other tub. I'm like, I'm like this is just Scott Turney. What, what was it? What uh, was it? Just, huh? What was it? I, I don't know. I think it was probably a, his own wife. It looked like yeah. it looked like a decomposed body in the tub. Well, how about you call the like fucking authorities? Yeah, then? if it was a decomposed oh, body. Guess what? When I see something that looks like it might be a dead body, I I, I call somebody. <laughs> I got the fuck out. Yeah. All right. Uh, was disgusting. Good lawyer. Yep. Probably another yeah. lawyer <laughs> just laying in the tub. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this scum. guy Save. makes a lot of sense. David in Boston. David, he's going to explain why people save their shit. Go ahead, oh, David. Okay. I, I think it probably started with the same thing, like with the wind chime. She she opened one of the bags to see if there's anything to save and realized there was some corn in there she could reuse. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to save some peanuts and corn out of my shit. Let's, it's still good. Let's go to Mike in Boston, Mike. Mike. Hey. 
Hey, so, all right, my mom was a hoarder. So all these guys, like, are twice removed, all this crap. I grew up with this stuff. Yeah. The, o- the only thing that works, I mean, piles of stuff, the whole thing, you know, got way worse after I moved out. The only thing that works, you drag her down, inpatient care, non-voluntary. These people are crazy. You medicate the hell out of them, and then suddenly the house can get cleaned. Then it gets really sad because it's, oh, my God, what did I do? How did I live like this? Nah, it doesn't awful. get sad ever. Well, it's sad for you, you know, and it's funny for everybody else. But it, it, it helped. You couldn't be coddling about it, right? Well, I tr- oh, for years I tried. For years mm-hmm. I had to understand her. I know we can't get rid of this stuff, and I understand that some of it means something to you. I mean, lost, like, photo albums from <laughs> like, being a kid to the house with kids. I mean, it's funny. It's hysterical <laughs> now because it is funny. I them. just can't get enough of it, though. And the roof it's caved fantastic. in on the damn house you lived in. The roof caved in. You couldn't get into it. I mean, they literally they moved to a different house right. because the house got full. And they were like, oh, well, let's, let's just try again. Let's, let's get another house. And they kept paying for the old house. The old house was paid off. They just paid taxes. The neighbors, you guys are spot on about the neighbors. Yeah. They would seethe every time they saw us come through. And, like, me is like this beacon of sanity. Like, hey, have you talked to your parents about getting rid of that house? God. Sorry. Can no. You, Enjoy the smell. Can you imagine living next to a hoarder? You get oh. mad... Uh, uh, with the one neighbor that doesn't cut his lawn. Yeah, cut the lawn. <laughs> it's smelling mad. like no shit. Right. They, they didn't cut the lawn either. That's what I mean. that In my robe, where me and my wife shit. <laughs> where my cats eat their brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I threw shit over there. Johnny Ola white my hiney. <laughs> 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 you break my sense of smell, Fredo. <laughs> Is this the Godfather break? Yeah. Oh, of course. This is Godfather too. Um, when's, when's the Back to the Future break? I don't do those. Nine thirty. <laughs> uh, you can just throw anything in there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, sure. yeah, I felt like a garbage pile because I was stepped over, Mike. That's <laughs> <laughs> the way the Department of Health wanted it. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, how about we go to, uh, we're almost done. We got a fireman, uh, New York fireman. Who are we firing? Oh. Uh, Jim in oh. New York. It's... Hey, Jim. what's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm a New York City fireman. We deal with this stuff all the time. I bet. We get sent to, to house fires and stuff, and we can't get in the building because there's so much crap all over the place, and it takes us days. We actually come in with, like, heavy equipment to, to pull the stuff out, and it's based on, these, like, the original hoarders of the world were the Collier brothers. They call it a Collier's Mansion. Yeah, and yeah, they, heard about they, them. They used to have tunnels and stuff, and they built booby traps so that no one could come in and find them. And the booby traps ended up killing themselves. And when they went into their house, they found six pianos, an abandoned car, like all this stuff <laughs> in their house. A car in their house. It was a giant mansion? Yeah, it was a giant mansion. It actually had a car in it. <laughs> nice. What were the booby traps that fucking got them? Oh, they had like, uh, it was kind of like, uh, like out of the Goonies, the, the big rocks and stuff would fall on you if you claw, climb through the tunnel. <laughs> wow. And that's it... what they, they found one of the guys crushed to death under just a pile of shit. Is, are there pictures online? Was this a big story? Great. You no, this, this is like, 30s? Uh, like a hundred years ago. <laughs> Looks like the <laughs> Temple of Doom. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> just kidding. Bodies laying around, skeletons. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Can't stand them. All right, guys, yeah. it out. Right on, man. Disgusting mess. Uh, there's just a million phone calls. It's just a million. If I see a pile of cat shit on the table, I'll know we have a deal. <laughs> pass, the, pass the mummified corpse around. <laughs> I'll let everybody take a look. <laughs> My shit pile's bigger than U.S. Steel. <laughs> How they massacred my feces. <laughs> I want you to use all your shovels and all your work crew. I don't want the therapist to see it like this. <laughs> I love movie quotes. I know. Uh, Fantastic. Oh God. Are we well, done? Even those. Yeah, we- I got. I got to wash my hands now. I just feel dirty watching that. It's so disgusting. Million, every phone call. I know. People, yeah. Every phone call. Either. Noah Hoarder or... Like, yeah. everything in that house. You know what that fucking ammonia smell Ugh. must have been like Ugh. in everything? The clothing was breaking apart. Like, that shit will just... just how they weren't dead from living in there is a, a miracle. 
The father's a bag oh. of shit, even worse than the oh, daughter. Yeah, though. Brian yeah. Florida, thank you. Google search uh, Collier Brothers. There are pictures of, of their house. C O L L Y E R. Two two brothers. Huh? Yep. Acting like fucking. <laughs> Some idiots. parent was terrible. Yeah, that's what it all comes down to. I mean, come on. Let's be honest here. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, it was like a uh, building. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Clancy, take the boys and surround the house. No Those mask like, or anything. Oh, the cops nah, just there. Yeah, they're fucking old school. Old oh, it was school actually in New York, there. but it's probably a multi multi floored dwelling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus, wow. it looks like the haunted mansion. Collier brothers were messy. <laughs> yeah, they were a little um, unkempt. Wow. Yeah, they had like a five story literally brownstone or something. The fucking you can see the top two windows. It's bursting out of the top two windows. Yeah, the the rooms are absolutely full. It's worse than this lady's house. Oh, wow, yeah. I bet there was shit in there too. Call your brothers. What a couple of idiots! I gotta read up on this shit. That's yeah, all I want to yeah, do. That's yeah. good. We have to read up on that. I'll have to do. Imagine a little living research. next door to these bags of shit. Oh god, the roaches and rats. Hats back then. Hats. A lot of fedoras. <laughs> don't. I don't want to throw away my fedora collection. It's on the wall with the plates. <laughs> I'm obsessed with dumb Robin's plates. <laughs> I, I I love them. I would just want to break them. Right, so do I. I hope she's getting salmonella eating off one. <laughs> <laughs> this place is... I've never seen a place this messy before. You got chip? Yeah. It's, I ain't got to... <laughs> if it was any messy, it'd have to clean up with a bunch of bombs or something, you know? <laughs>